All right, what's up folks? How are we doing? Thanks for checking out the video. This is gonna be a quick overview and review of the Sony A7R 3 42 megapixel full frame mirrorless camera. I purchased this in a kit. The kit came with all sorts of accessories that go with this camera, including a hard and waterproof storage box and a few other things that I'm gonna show you in this video. But let's go ahead and get down to business here and start unpacking this kit. I am a uh, web developer and digital advertiser by trade. So in order to get good content for digital advertising, I need a good media kit that allows me to do that. And uh, I'm telling you, the Sony A7 or the Sony A-Series revolution is in full swing. Everybody is swapping over to these mirrorless cameras um, they are phenomenal, and uh, you can even see these cameras on the sidelines of uh, NFL football games, professional sports, that sort of thing. They are awesome quality. They take awesome quality pictures and videos, and they're basically like a, uh, I read in another review that it's kind of like the fighter jet of... Uh, of cameras and that's really true because of how customizable this camera is you can do absolutely anything with any of the buttons on the back and i'm going to show you the interface here in just a second so this is like my little travel kit for um capturing content at events or certain locations or of certain products right of course the case is awesome it is waterproof it's got a nice rubber gasket around it so if you're going to go that route and get the whole kit like i did um, be sure you get a good case your camera is worthless if you break it it's probably worth something but it is not worth what you paid for it i can tell you that most of the content that i'm capturing is medium to short range so as you can see i've got the sony zeiss lens this is the 24 to 70 um, and this is a great mid-range lens, FE 4-24-70. to 24 to 70. So this is a great medium range to close range lens. If you start getting too close with it, you can start running into some focus issues. So then I picked up this pancake lens to take care of that. So this is 2.8-20. to 20. So as you can see, I've got close range macro to close range to mid range here with these two lenses. And uh, they have not let me down. They are great. I also keep a GoPro in my kit. I've got various GoPros. This is a GoPro 8 Black. Um, but these little cameras take great images and they often look really good when you're um, putting together an advertisement or a video and you slide in that GoPro B-roll that's super sharp and uh, very rich in color. So uh, the GoPro is a great addition, it's small, to a uh, DSLR kit or a mirrorless kit. All right, the Sony A7R3. So all of these buttons are customizable. Every one of these buttons, C1, C2, all customizable. Everything on the dial, customizable. This is great for not only just images, but video as well too. Here's your hot foot for your microphone. Something else that came in my kit is this Rode microphone. And uh, like I said, I went with the kit on Amazon. That's what I purchased just to get it all out of the way. I just needed it for work. Let's get this open, come on. Uh, we've got our various jacks here. Here's our audio jack. There's a video jack, boom. So there we can capture great audio and great video all at the same time with the Sony A7R 3 uh, This little pin right here is a cleaning device. So you can clean little nooks and crannies inside the camera 
in case you get it dirty on site. Um, I do a lot of outdoor photography, uh, and that's typically on the water type stuff, inside of a boat, or at um, certain off-road locations. Now, one thing to mention, the off-road locations are super dusty. You often have to wear a mask just not to inhale that stuff. Well, dusty environments are not good for your camera as well, too. So you have to be very, very careful on how you handle this camera when you're in dirty or dusty environments. As far as the charger goes, it came with a single battery charger. How good is the battery? That depends. If I'm shooting photography, I can go a whole weekend on a single battery. If I'm shooting video, you can burn your battery out in several hours time if you're shooting video. So be really, really careful if your primary uh, objective with the Sony a7R 3 is to shoot video, go ahead and pick up a secondary battery because um, you'll thank me later for that. Um, but the video does take much more power from the battery than shooting um, images. Also on this camera, you've got a dual card port. So one, two. You can set this camera to treat each one of these cards individually. So like one will fill up and then the other fills up and you can tell the camera which one fills up first. Or you can make a copy. So as you shoot throughout the day or the event or whatever, the images and videos will be duplicated on each card. And this is great for working photographers, right? Because at the end of the day, you just pop out one of the cards, hand it to your client, and you have a copy, they have a copy. Or you can, if you're working with other photographers, this is a great way to consolidate content after a day's work. I recommend going as big as you can when it comes to cards. Um, I'm using two 128 gigabyte cards. All things considered, this is an amazing camera and one of the best cameras available. Um, not just for photography, but for videography as well too. One reason people love the Sony a7R 3 is because of its low light shooting capabilities. While a lot of the old DSLRs struggle to get good, clear, crisp, low light images, the Sony a7R 3 excels in that range. Thanks for checking out this quick review of the Sony a7R 3 I hope it's been informative. Have a great day.